This tribalism has to end. And this is with regards Mr. Badebo Chinudu Vival, Rhodes Vival. Waiting they happen, Gorgono, you guys. This is terrible. Why are comments coming up as can you give us a picture of any Yoruba man contesting in Igbo land for governorship? Our children go outside of the country, attain great heights, become mayors in their cities. Nobody questions their ethnicity, their mixed race profile. Even some are born by purely Nigerian parents that their children became citizens in that country. Why are we questioning a man whose father is a Lagosian? That his ancestors are Lagosians, but his mom is an Igbo woman. Shall we get sense like this, Sha? No, make we talk this thing well, Lou. Shall we talk? Wait, this tribalism has to stop immediately. Kilon shele, gogono, kilon shele. It is so disappointing of us to treat ourselves as much within the same ethnicity. In fact, I'm of the opinion that anybody that is born and bred in Lagos can be a governor of Lagos State, even if both his parents are Awusas, even if both his parents are Igbos. So, if it was in Nigeria that Barack Obama, I even saw one comment here that his father is, is, his, is his father Igbo. Even if his father is Igbo and his mother was the one that is Yoruba, he can actually, that is, that is the right thing to do. He should be able to contest for office in in. In, in, the, in, in the state where he grew up because he's a citizen of those two states. So if it were us and Barack Obama, the pre Mr. Barack Obama, the ex-president of America, that his mother is the one that is American and his father is Kenyan, we would have opposed him contesting for presidency. This tribalism has to stop. I'm so ashamed of we Africans and we black people in this Africa. We are so, we are actually the one that perpetuates this discrimination of a thing more than any other race that I have seen. But we are always so quick to call out racism. In fact, when I was looking for materials for this video, I hardly saw anything on tribalism on xenophobia everything was more concentrated on racism and i would continue saying till we'll change me i don't see black people do bad thing pass waiting the racist people don't do racism deal but i don't see say i don't see say we black people go gone now we be the enemy of ourselves we have to change this mentality. If Mr. Chine do Badebo, Rhodes Viva is the right candidate for governorship, he will get those votes. I did not remove his Chine do name because I will not downplay his uniqueness because I want to promote him in a way and I want to speak that he's, Euro, he's a Yoruba man and I want him to identify with only Yoruba. I will state his identity because that is his uniqueness. It doesn't make him less of a Nigerian. It doesn't make him less of a Yoruba man. And for those of you saying that he made some statements about Yoruba, he did not insult Yoruba. He was just calling out the stereotypical behavior that some of the Yoruba people can have. And I have called out, am I not just talking about the black race? Am I not black? So exactly, he is at a sentimental position on those tribes. So he would always see the discrimination and be more moved to speak against the ills of the Igbos, the ills of the Yorubas. I'm talking about black people now that we have our own fundamental great faults and we have been greater enemies to ourselves. Does that make me not be a black person? Please come off it and let's stop, let's, let, let's stop, let's stop uh, misrepresenting people because we want to push another candidate. And that is why corruption is a very th terrible thing. Because 
I understand that from assessing this tribalism thing, it has a lot to do with the corrupt system that needs to be restructured so that we can do things properly because people are afraid that yes if somebody from if we start mixing ethnicities and you know someone with mixed Ausa ethnicity mixed Igbo ethnicity can run for governor in any state in the country then those who have um, a higher pop population like the north will take governorship and they will rule Nigeria, rule every state and, you know, just to, just to maintain sanity. I understand that as well. And that is why we have to handle this situation from the bottom. Corruption has to stop. Fair practices in electing presidential election, fair practices in electing governors. That is where the real problem is because people are also afraid. Yes, Lagos is an indigenous Yoruba state. Nobody can take that away from the Yorubas. But if we do it in a way that, you know, that, you know, anybody, once you're raised in Lagos, you can be a governor, even if you're, you're indigenously from Abia or you're indigenously from, from, so, indigenously from Sokoto, a lot of people are going to abuse it because of the corrupt system, corrupt mind. So we have actually done a lot of harm to ourselves with the corrupt systems that has been permitted over time and that is the difference between international countries because we know that when a mr barack obama is allowed to contest for presidency being a mixed race from an african country and an american blood we know it's going to be a fair elections but with the african system with the nigerian system we know there will be a lot of rigging and there will be only one tribe that will recruit people from their state of origin to come and vote pretentiously because they want to rule all the states in Nigeria. So I understand that aspect and that is why we need, we need to change our corrupt methodologies. Yes, we suppose do that. Now waiting they cause all this katakata be this. All the all the corruption where don't they permissive all these years where we don't they do where we have everybody they do where they, they do for the country me i not go be part by god's grace but i mean you know the kind of corruption where they go on inside the country now waiting make them difficult to have this kind of open platform say anybody will get miss ethnicity feel be governor for lagos state feel be governor for sokoto state because yoruba and Igbo feel born you are picking for Sokoto State now. Now, citizen of Sokoto State, you understand, it's supposed to be say that child fee hold government offices for Sokoto State. But because of corruption everywhere, or make one Sokoto man, or one Kaduna man, and one, um, Nige, and one Nige woman, make them born now for Oshun State. Their children now Oshun citizen now, but we not go, they not go feel allowed to make their children do hold public office like governor you know like counselor because of the corruption where they the unfair voting practices where we say then go go import all the awusa from awusa land they are picking go come they vote for Oshun state it's not going to be credible anymore it's not going to be who know the work the work pass they go they just be the one we go they run Oshun state constantly so we don't do many 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 bad things for ourselves beyond waiting we serve, eh? God, now God will help us correct them. But we too, we get our part to play. As God will correct them for us, we too, we go, they make the effort to do things correctly. The way we vote this presidential election now, we be say people feel, say they don't rig them. They don't lie. They don't cheat. Which we all see with our koro koro eyes too. Uh-uh. Now waiting the cause of the problem be that. Ninja, our solution be say, make we stop correction. Where we where we where we where we, where we, where we stop corruption. Have a good day, oh my people. Take care and cheers to everyone.